Okay guys, so for this video we are, um, where is it boys? There you are, Jules. We're going to be um, taking a look at something in, in a special celebration for Alien Covenant. Uh, a couple of figures, Xenomorphs, they're all Xenomorphs. Uh, if YouTube downloads, the next video will be, I'm just downloading on my Xbox One. If um, the, ne the next video, <laughs> sorry, I'm really excited today. Basically today the new Alien Covenant trailer is coming out. So when YouTube downloads, which is probably going to be finished, I am going to um, react to the new trailer for you guys. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this guy, the Alien Isolation Xenomorph. Now, here is a classic big chap. The, con the prototype version to be exact. Didn't, didn't, wasn't able to pick up the original. Big shame, but I'll hunt it down on eBay. Now, look at the legs and the feet. Oh, would help. I said to spin the tail out of the way. Um, as you can see, they are very different. But if they're not the same. Wish this guy had different hands. I would like to see some new tool hands for him. Um, but overall, everything is good. He's got the classic Xenomorph details that you've come to expect. And he does have a brown wash on him. Don't have a light to show you that. You can sort of make it out. Tubes are nice and rubber. This piece does remove. And I have done some mods to mine to enable a bit more extreme movements in the articulation. Um, I need to hair dryer him and sort his head out so his head can really look back. Um, also, now, because my hair's blonde, I have to slick it back, so I've got a hair dryer, so it can come in handy for blasting my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold in my Does my torch work? Nope. Okay, so, um, for features, this guy only has one, despite the detail, and I oh, can't really get it out very easily. So I'm going to use my Swiss block, I call it. Has uh, this in it. It should grip. And it does jack shit. Sorry. Give me a sec, guys. Hold on. It's coming out. Yep. Come on. Most of the time you because want to pop these things out, but no, you don't. The Xenomorph that does not want to pop out its inner mouth, that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, it still has the inner mouth function, which is pretty nice, I do like this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm quite familiar with it. I don't know what the opposite word of familiar is, I'm not, you know, unknown about it. Oh, I can't, I can't English today, sorry, I really, I'm, I'm stuttering like mad, I can't English my words. Can you English, bruh? No, obviously not. Now mine does have one slight defect. Uh, you see this shoulder here, you see that pipe there. Well, mine has it going backwards. Whereas if we take a look at the concept version, it has it going forwards that way and forwards that way. Mine uses two of the same shoulder. It's not the end of the world. You can barely notice it. I just picked it up. Um, so his sculpt to this paint is pretty much the same, but the real change in difference is this leg here. Which I think the foot looks quite nice. Um, I like to have him in this very tall, menacing pose, just menacing posture. Um, I need to get Amanda Ripley actually. I think they'll scale really well with this guy. Um, the aliens have always been pretty big. And now my torch works. Right, so if you look here, if you can tell, you can sort of see like a brownish wash on him. His dome. Yeah, you can sort of see the brown now on his shoulder. Just look there on the shoulder. You can sort of see he's got a very brown hue. Mm. There we go. Um, he does have this very long tail. It's the second longest, maybe the first longest. I'm not sure. Compared to the dog alien, I think this is a strong contender. My dog alien being a very good figure. It is... Ooh. Oh, it's not, it's pretty, it's longer. This is longer in terms of blade. I'm measuring them by the way they, by the joins, all the way to the tips. The isolation officially has the longest tenomorph, tenomorph? Tail of all the xenomorphs, with the exception of the queen. Um, now that being said, it is bendy. We've kind of come to expect that from NECA. Uh, so let's go on to articulation. First of all, this piece removes, so you could clamp that as an accessory. I'll just remove that to access the head. The jaw can slide in and out. Uh, the inner jaw, this mouth can go up and down. Looks a bit weird like that, so, you know, 
would be nice if you added some stretchy material in there. I do think Necker should maybe use some stretchy material. Heads on a ball joint, rolls all the way around. It can turn this far that way, this far that way. It's pretty much the same. You've got to be kept a bit more careful with the prototype one because I had those both disconnect. I just glued them back in, but they're made out of a much softer, gummier plastic. Um, head looks up this much. Looks down really far, actually. I do like how far down that looks. Um, he also has a slider. You can probably see there. So that enables you to um, slide his head back, then shift it backward. Can't really get it like this, however, as it just goes forward a bit. Now, my waist is modified, so it can go forward quite a bit more than it would before. So that's how far mine does. The prototype one barely crunches forward. This one obviously is known for hunching over when he's chasing you. So I modded him by taking a little cut out of the joint, of the socket, and letting the ball slide inward, and it goes forward quite nicely, I think. I'll just rotate the arm up out of the way. It goes pretty far forward, I think. It's decent. Um hold on, that was a right. Uh, next you get is a swivel hinge shoulder, so it swivels all the way around. You got a nice hinge, it goes out to the side, roughly about 90 degrees outward, straight outward. Get a cut joint, the bicep. Um, you get a single jointed elbow. Uh, they are retooling this guy now in the um, Defiance Alien to have double jointed elbows. I was originally going to pick another one up uh, if it comes out to mod this guy to have double jointed elbows, but I don't really think he needs them. Personally, maybe for bringing prey up to his mouth, but then again, if he grabs something, he can pretty much get it to his mouth anyway, and his tongue will do all the work. That's what she said. <laughs> um, it, the joint can swivel at the elbow and at the forearm, it's just the way it's assembled. Not really supposed to do that. I mean, it's not going to break it, it's not going to do anything bad if you do it, it's just not intended. Wrists are a nice hinge, it can also swivel, so it can be very gay, or it can be like high five or something. Um, like I said, the torso is on that ball joint, so it goes all the way around, tilts this far forward, this far back, this far that way, that far forward. With a mod, it won't go very far, but if you mod it, it goes decently far forward. Back, quite far actually, you can sort of see the little notch I've put into it. Legs are on that pin socket, so they go forward. Really freaking far actually, that's very far forward. I, I quite like that. They go back. Very far. You can get him doing the splits. Mostly, this leg doesn't really want to. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, it, it doesn't want to go as high as that one. I think that one goes the same. Does that one do the same movement? Actually, that one can go a bit higher, but it forces itself back down, see? So so, they do go, it does go the same amount. It goes really far back. I don't even think that's possible. Double jointed knee, straightens out all the way. So, it's a double peg. It's got two pegs in it. You can sort of see there that kind of hinge. Hinge is a little stiff. A little stiff on mine. At least the top hinge is stiff. The bottom hinge is nice and smooth moving. So, you could get him crouched if you wanted to. You really wanted to. Um, his ankle, instead of a ball joint, this is a retooled piece, so it's on a hinge. And that can also swivel. So, you know, it can act as your uh, ankle side to side. And then he has another joint here at the foot, which is on a hinge, which goes this far forward, this far back, and a pin faces so you technically not like not this is not common for necker you technically have an a, a rocker an ankle rocker which is pretty cool i think necker should do this more often put an ankle rocker instead of the ball joint i do like the ankle rocker better it has more freedom of movement and bendy wife and tell mine's a little bit stiff i need to boil this guy again or maybe blast it with the hairdryer i did yeah, so his tail is pretty bendy. Runs out roughly there, I'd say. 
The thinner it gets towards the end, the bendier it is. Like, the easier it is to bend. So. If you could, I mean, you could use a stand for it. Mine is unfortunately broken. Those things do need to be improved, I think. More like the DC collectible stands where they've got a little spring clamp. I think that would be a bit better. That's just my suggestion. Um, if I could stand this guy anyway, I'd probably stand him. Like if I had him on the shelf, if I could, I might make a custom stand for his feet at some point. Maybe make some pewter pieces of clipping. I'd probably have him like that. Like this, where his tail's there, he's ready to pounce, and his mouth is open like he's roaring at, like he's screaming at you, or whatever the noise is, snarling, hissing, whatever they do. Um, in comparison with another xenomorph, if I just stand up my dog alien here, just give me a sec, I'm kind of... Ooh. He is... Um... Not as tall as a dog alien is at full height, but when the dog alien is in its crouched position, it's obviously smaller. The head is significantly smaller on a dog alien than it is on this, and also dog alien does not have the tubes. Compared to the big chap, the classic big, well, the concept big chap, everything's pretty much the same except for the legs. Uh, however, the isolation is anymore with that extra added, added height comes up a little bit higher. Not so much higher, but enough to make a, a small difference. Keep in mind with this isolation alien, I've not actually removed that this piece here, and I don't intend to. I've tried actually, it won't. It just won't budge, so I'm going to leave it. Plus, I'm not really going to be having him going through vents. He's mostly going to be standing there because he's he would never see him in the movie. He was originally what the alien was going to look like, but they changed color. So uh, I'm going to give this guy a. Um, now, from the shelves, is doing a rating like B, B+, plus, C, D, uh, A. I am going to try and do that as well. Not to copy uh, or not to kind of copy someone else's idea, but just to kind of ramp up my rating a bit more. I think I'm going to give this guy... Sorry, I'm going to give this guy an A+. Plus. Uh, I just think he is really, really good. What, my only gripes are would like to have seen some retooled hands... And his joints were, at least on this ankle and foot, were a little bit loose when I got him. I did have to tighten those up. You can probably see some glue in there that's already hardened. It's still a bit loose now, but it does hold its pose better. And I wish he came with a better stand and maybe an egg or a face hugger. Um, or a dead body or something. Not No, not a full dead body, just like a head or maybe another accessory that you could give if you get Ripley. Maybe just some, or a nice diorama like Diamond Select do with their toys. So yeah, he gets an A+. Plus. If you can find him on eBay or Amazon or any comic shops, because my comic shop still had him, and I picked him up. Um, they still had this guy. If you can get him, I'd go for this one, guys. This is a pretty good one. If you don't like Alien Isolation, then, you know, obviously don't pick him up unless you just want another variation of a Xenomorph. If you don't like Aliens in general, not really sure why you watched this whole video, but thanks anyway. Still, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, next video for sure is the Alien Covenant trailer.